The United Kingdom and Germany have had a long and sometimes complicated relationship. Down the centuries, our two countries have challenged and aided and fought with and against each other. Always, we have exchanged ideas and people, building a shared culture that has been a bridge between us, even at our most divided. It's a culture rooted in joint endeavour, a culture united by music, painting and literature, by sporting rivalries and friendships. Even as opponents on the football pitch, we are united by common memories of legendary games. Our countries share not just culture, but common beliefs, in democracy, in the rule of law and civic rights, in fair trade. Sometimes rivals and enemies, more often friends and allies, we have helped to shape not just Europe, but the whole world. In the last half of the 20th century alone, the UK and Germany were at the forefront in the creation of the European Common Market and in building a peacefully united Europe, bringing countries from East and West together. In NATO, the UN and other forums, we work to ensure peace and security in Europe and across the globe. These efforts do not come from governments alone, but from alliances of institutions and of people at every level, seeking to ensure a just and sustainable future for all. Today, the world faces major challenges. Challenges that will best be met with the strength we find in cooperation. The global pandemic has shown us that we need more resilient economies and public health strategies. The climate crisis compels us to change our reliance on non-renewable energy. And deep regional inequalities reveal our industrial strategy has failed under neoliberalism. Our joint influence and ability to change things for good are too precious to lose. But with Britain leaving the European Union, the relationship between the United Kingdom and Germany, between individual Germans and Britons, faces change. With that change comes the risk that trust between our two countries could be undermined. We must work in partnership to renew and strengthen that trust. As we look forward, we need to protect and reinforce the ties created by our shared history and ideals, to build ever greater understanding between our people, especially young people, so that Germany and the UK can continue to share and experience each other's culture and learn from each other's perspectives. We need more twin towns with ever stronger relationships, more student and youth exchanges, more organisations where German and British people from all walks of life, not just the privileged, can meet. Our parliamentarians need to spend more time in each other's company, to craft new visions together. They need to see each other's constituencies, not just London and Berlin, but all across both countries. We need to link universities with research and teaching projects and encourage more meetings and exchanges between sports clubs, trade unions and cultural organisations such as museums, orchestras and theatres, film and television makers. And we should look for new opportunities to swap and expand ideas. Most of all, we need to strengthen the existing bridges between our two countries and build new, ever stronger ones. Through personal engagement, through sharing ideas and ideals, we can all play a part. Get involved and together we can help build a bridge to a shared and brighter future.